What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Hot the Fire Deuce Gun. I thought I'd mix it up because usually on my channel, you guys would see commentary through video games. You would see episodes of Radio AFG Live, little freestyles because I do music and stuff like that. And my YouTube page is not here to be monetized and to make money. I just have ideas or am inspired some days to do certain things. And bam, I just do it. <laughs> that being said uh shout out to the people that's looking at my youtube page for legal reasons uh not for like uh copyright or nothing it's just that i'm going through some things right now personally in life and uh you know i got a call talking about me unboxing a video game on my on my channel anyway at the end of the day uh this is going to be a different type of video this is going to be like a sports talk video and i just want to give my two cents on the initial trade offer made not too long ago reported by espn's adrian wojanowski that the lakers have made to the new orleans pelicans to acquire the services of one anthony davis uh the initial trade offer i believe included lonzo ball kyle kuzma rajan rondo and uh, Michael Beasley, as well as a first round draft pick from the Lakers, offering that to the New Orleans Pelicans for the uh, services of Anthony Davis. Again, um, you know, just going off the reports and maybe it's just me looking at things too vanilla. But based on the stuff that Anthony Davis representatives with Clutch Sports, Rich Paul, LeBron James folks uh, came out and said, they pretty much clearly have stated not in. A uh, 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 beat around the bush type of way, but they have clearly stated that any other team that makes a trade offer for the services of Anthony Davis, they're going to be treating it as a rental, a one year rental, because Anthony Davis still has one year left on the current contract that he has with the Pelicans. So that means next summer he would be an unrestricted free agent. So any team that is willing to trade assets for future draft picks as well as talented stars on your team in order to get anthony davis if you are not the los angeles lakers he is taking that as a one-year uh rental so yeah i'll come and play my ass off and do what i gotta do you know for whatever team that get me but when y'all do get me <clears throat> i'm not staying there he wants to play at and for the los angeles lakers now i was listening to adrian wojanowski not too long ago on espn talking about you know decisions that the the the, the gms and and stuff of the uh los angeles lakers or the new orleans pelicans should i say have in terms of making decisions on whether or not they're going to pull the trigger on this trade i mean they pretty much haven't in my opinion gotten a, a better offer for the services of anthony davis in terms of the assets that they will acquire through players as well as financial compensation as well as draft picks so will this be a Kawhi leonard situation to where you see there is clearly a destination in mind that the player has said they want to go to but the organization feels like they've got done wrong so of course they're not going to just grant your wishes and send you where you want to go you know you could have said you wanted to go to phoenix or sacramento they might not have sent you to those teams just based on the fact that you wanted to go there and sometimes other teams and organizations will offer you better things in a trade than what you actually trade the player for because in some instances it's like a way to get back at the player you sent Kawhi Leonard to the farthest possible place you could send him away from the destination that he said he wanted to go to. Kawhi Leonard said he wanted to play in Los Angeles. Now, whether that remains to be seen for the Clippers or the Lakers, we'll find out next season. But they traded him to Toronto. They traded him to another country. To hell with another team. They traded him to another country. He went from the United States of America on the border of Mexico all the way to Canada. Good job, guys. But I say that to say this. If the New Orleans Pelicans are trying to be spiteful to Anthony Davis, then the initial trade that I just said, Wojanowski reported with Rajon Rondo, Kyle Kuzma, Michael Beasley, and uh, Lonzo Ball in the first round draft pick seemed like that's an adequate package. Don't be surprised if you see like the Pelicans have agreed to trade uh, uh, Anthony Davis to the Charlotte Hornets for Kimball Walker uh michael kidd gilchrist oh he don't play over there no more but you know two draft picks a two second rounders you're like what the hell that's way less people and way less talent than they was going to get over there the organization is really not going to be worried about you know what's their best interest or what's the best player package to get if they're trying to be spiteful to anthony davis they'll just send him to some team he don't want to be at he said it's only going to be a one-year rental anyway because he don't want to play nowhere but los angeles and it's his option next year the player contract is over he gets to go to any team he wants to for nothing so new orleans in their mind this is what we're going to see between now and february 7th on the nba's trade deadline will they 
get was the best deal that they can get for Anthony Davis in terms of players, financial compensation, and draft picks, or would they just send him to a team with a less deal in place just because they want to get rid of him and, and choose to be spiteful towards him because he decided not to sign an extension with that organization? To me, teams like Boston, where Woj said, you know, maybe they should wait till the summer and see if teams like Boston will get into the mix and trade because they'll have more assets to trade instead of third. Yeah, they will have more assets to trade, but this man himself and his representation have come out and said that any team that trades for him, be careful, be cautious, because we're treating any place besides Los Angeles Lakers as a one-year rental. So if that's the truth and that's how it's going to be spoken and seen, what team is going to trade their franchise point guard, shooting guard, small forward, and give up two draft picks to have him there for a season? They're gone signing extensions. They're not coming back to them teams when you trade them. And they're going and playing for a team that, you know, now you didn't help them rebuild a playoff contender that's going to be from a six to three seed every year. Damn, that's crazy. So, again, I don't think – that the, the Pelicans are in a position to do what San Antonio did to Kawhi Leonard and just send him wherever. I don't think they're in the position if we switch sports that Bill Belichick and Tom Brady were in when they traded Jimmy Garoppolo to my 49ers for a second round draft pick. That's crazy. Other teams offered them more. You might not have heard the reports about that, but other teams offered them more than a second round draft pick. But the relationship that Bill Belichick had with Mike and Kyle Shanahan, as well as the fact that he was trying to stick it, in my opinion, to Robert Kraft, he sent that man to the 49ers for a second-round draft pick. Will the New Orleans Pelicans follow the same suit as the, the, New or, uh, the New England Patriots? Will they follow the same suit as the San Antonio Spurs? Just getting They didn't get the best deal. That wasn't the best offer on the table for Kawhi Leonard Services when he got traded to Toronto last season. But they did that just to stick it to him because they felt as an organization he stuck it to them by not playing the entire season but nine games. So, in my opinion, I believe the Lakers will end up getting Anthony Davis because if the New Orleans Pelicans have any sense, they will not just say, you know what, we're going to stick it to him and send him to Chicago or send him to Miami and take less of a package because at the end of the day, Anthony Davis is still going to end up in Los Angeles, whether it's in 2019 or 2020. And that team and that organization is still going to have to try to find somebody to supplement that spot. Jaleel Okafor is playing great for the minutes that he gets because Anthony Davis hasn't been playing, but he's not a replacement for Anthony Davis in no way, shape, or form. That's why the Philadelphia 76ers parted ways with him. That being said, if the New Orleans Pelicans are stupid enough to not have watched history, I'm not a representative of any of those teams. I don't work in any of their front offices. I'm just a fan of sports. I watch sports. Oh, that was a cool game. I can call shit out. I'm educated about play calling and stuff like that. So if I see, like, wow, that was a mistake right there. Why the hell I'm going to turn around and make that same mistake? So, again, Pelicans, now the ball is proverbially in your court. Like, are you going to follow the footsteps of the Patriots and the, the Spurs being spiteful to players and organizations and just getting nothing for the players that you could have got way more for? Or are you just going to do what's in the best interest of your organization in part ways? Because at the end of the day, regardless of who you trade him for and where you trade him to, He's out of there. Even if you don't trade him at all, he just sits on the bench and plays this last season and just sit on the bench inactive and just waits. He's not going to be playing for your organization. He's not re-signing with the organization. And if you wait until next season, he gets to walk away and you don't get anything for him. Think about that before you start pulling the trigger wanting to send him to Orlando or some shit like that. <laughs>